Welcome back. Now I'm going to show you two of my most favorite smoothies in the whole wide world. The first one is called German Chocolate Crunch. For it's all those chocolate holics out there, you're going to love it. And again, it takes seconds to make. So the first thing we're going to do is take three scoops of our chocolate, put it right into our blender, and I've gone ahead and I've added eight ounces of water to the blender to make it a little easier. Now the key to making a smoothie super, super thick, especially if you're using water, is in the ice. The more ice you use, it gets so thick, almost like a milkshake. So I'm going to add my ice. The more the merrier. And then now for the ingredients. So the first thing I'd love to add is a little extra chocolate. So I'm going to add some So Shy Dark Chocolate to our shake. Then, two walnuts, very simple, just throw it right on in. We're doing about a quarter of a teaspoon of coconut flakes. And a hint of our organic coconut extract. I'm just going to eye it, but you could do about a quarter teaspoon or so. There we go. That's it. That's how simple it is to make this. Let me just grab the top. Now I would say for at home, just wait a little longer until you get all the ice out to make it a little thicker. But you're going to see it's luscious and thick and delicious. German chocolate crunch. Gotta love it. Very good. So now we're going to move on. If you like the exotic taste of pomegranate, we're going to do pomegranate pleasure. So, let me get my top off. We're going to take three scoops of strawberry, just add it into our eight ounces of cold water. Remember what's the trick? Ice. So I'm going to go a little less this time, just to make it nice and thick. We're now going to add one cup, and I'm going to do it by eye, of pomegranate juice. Make sure that it's non-sugar added, very, very important, because we want to keep these low glycemic and healthy. So we don't want anything to spike up our blood sugar levels. I'm going to pour in a little bit of a cup, and then just to give it that little extra exotic taste, I'm going to add some orange extract. I'm going to put it in. Put it on. And mix. pleasure. I wish you could taste it. It tastes so good. And that's what I love about this is I hope that you've seen from this segment that we can make so many diverse smoothies, whether it is something on the go, whether you want a latte for breakfast, whether you want something decadent like German chocolate crunch as a dessert. We can really have such an array and it only takes seconds to make at home. So they're super, super easy to do. And again, the important thing that you're looking for is making sure that you pick a protein base that is low glycemic and with natural sugars. They'll stay on them if they are a low glycemic product. And that's very important because we don't want our sugar levels to go up and down and keep crashing. We're looking for something to keep us on an even keel.